When you were brought on board as CEO, you were the youngest black CEO of a public company right. and the 10th uh, black CEO of a, of a public company ever. Yeah. A fact that your sister, the renowned author, Roxane Gay, called appalling at yes. the time. Yes. Uh, did you think that was appalling? No, I, I didn't. Look, I'm cognizant of the fact that diversity in the boardroom uh, remains a challenge. But at the end of the day, companies seek the most outrageous talent. And the lack of diversity in the boardroom is a function of, uh, frankly, having inadequately qualified candidates or having enough of those candidates, which frankly is an indictment of our educational system, specifically in the more underprivileged areas. And so actually energy recovery is quite active in the local, let's just call it the broader Oakland community in terms of reaching out to high schools and junior highs and seeing what we can do to facilitate um, technological learnings and, and, and facilitating an interest in, in tech careers uh, within the inner city. So no, I don't think it's appalling, but I am cognizant that there's an issue and I think there are some very prescriptive measures that can be taken to, to remediate that over the long haul. Now, I can tell you energy recovery is a microcosm of the United Nations. And I think mm -hmm. that we excel and succeed through diversity. And we're talking gender diversity, ethnic diversity, religious diversity, sexual orientation diversity. Um, and, and I think that's also microcosmic of the broader Silicon Valley area. Uh, are we doing anything programmatic about it uh, to achieve that level of diversity? Not necessarily other than looking for the most outrageous talent and not allowing biases, demographical biases, to enter into the hiring decision. Do you think that diversity has had an, any tangible impact on your bottom line or the way business gets done at yes. your company? Yeah, no, no doubt. In particular, if you look at our international footprint, 95% of our revenues are derived internationally. 80% uh, of that 90% is in the Middle East. And so when we think about um, our Middle Eastern employees or who hail from originally from Middle Eastern countries, there are cultural nuances to doing business in certain locales, whether it's Western Europe, whether it's Southeast Asia, whether it's the Middle East. And understanding those cultural nuances and executing your strategy through said cultural nuances has a definite impact on your bottom line. The ultimate r results are purchase orders, sales, revenue, and ultimately cash flow. So yeah, I think you can certainly tie it back.